I'm curious, you know, I see you as such a, such an iconic creator. And I know that in our business, we find it challenging sometimes to find that just bubble where we can create and be ourselves and, and kind of go really far in the creation without thinking about who's going to see it. Is this too much? Is this too weird? But I do think that the responsibilities of running a business and managing people can be, I don't know, just kind of like thwarting that creative flow. So I'm curious like how you pull up and out and create that creative time for yourself and what that looks like. I think it's so hard. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, especially when you create a business around something you're passionate about and then you find yourself leading others, it's like none of us went to boss school, right? Mm -hmm. Like I wish there was a boss school because I need it. Um, But it's funny because I think a lot of times for me, I think the biggest shift was recognizing that I was trying to be both the visionary and the integrator in my business and that I couldn't do both. And I think a lot of times as founders, we are the person behind the vision, but to get that vision off the ground, we have to be the people doing every single thing. And so when you get the right team in place that allows you to continue moving forward while you can see that bird's eye vision that maybe other people don't understand or can't get or can't see, it can totally transform things for you. So I think the biggest thing is is learning to ask for help. And I think as a proud person, so often we can do everything. Like I, I can do every piece of my business, but I shouldn't. And, and I'm not needed to. And I've recognized that asking for help is actually giving someone a gift yes. to use their strengths. And so... It's like pride held me like white knuckling my business for so long. And when I finally loosened the grip and like opened my hands to what's possible, I started to see that like the things I dread, someone else loves. And I can create jobs and I can create opportunities and I can create ownership so that it's not just a me, but it's a we. But for creativity, like I even told Drew the other day, like, I, I miss my little mini work travel trips that I did a lot before COVID. And I was like, I have not been alone literally in like a year and a half. And I, I told him, I was like, I like need to book a hotel room for like two nights, even in this city, just to like have that quiet time and that alone time to IDA and create and ask myself those questions and stuff. And so... It is interesting because I think as creative beings, like when we have an idea, we get obsessed, right? Like we we just we want to push it. And as digital creators, it's even easier to get caught up in that because we can get that immediate feedback. We can, you know, just push something out into the world super fast. But I'm kind of learning to like go slower and like just pause and like check myself. Like if I need immediate feedback on something, it's probably not a creation that I'm meant to be doing right mm. now. Like I need to create things just for the sake of creating and playing. And so trying to take a note from my daughter who we were playing with like kinetic sand this morning. It's like magnetic oh, sand. It's the best. Lindsay oh, had some. She's like, like, touch this. I'm like, what? Yes! I love it. <laughs> it's ama- It's the best stress yes. reliever. <laughs> Honestly. So I was like, things like, let's just play for the sake of playing. And yes. I think that having a toddler really teaches you that, which is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for tuning in to Morning Microdose by Almost 30. We hope you enjoyed waking up. As always, we encourage you to take what resonates and leave the rest. If you enjoyed this trip, tune into the full episode on the Almost 30 podcast. All episode information can be found in the show notes. Make sure to subscribe. And if this becomes a part of your morning routine, be sure to share it with a friend. We have new inspiring doses Monday through Friday. Follow us on Instagram at Morning Microdose and follow Almost 30 at Almost 30 Podcast. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in the vortex.